والسلام على ما لا نبيا بدا وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين my name is sara jabin and i am from cambridge i have a decade experience in teaching and associated with new state school for the past 5 years i am a high school teacher and i teach social studies and english i am afshar jabin i am bsc with applied nutrition i worked as a nutritionist and since 5 years i am associated with new state school i am a high school teacher and primary in charge my immense gratitude to all of us for having gathered with us on this event today we are more elated and feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to all of you shabdon ka vazan to hamare bolne ke bhav se hai se pata chalta hai waise to deewaron pe bhi welcome likha hota hai courage is doing what you are afraid to do courage is doing what you are afraid to do stand before the people you feel and speak your mind before we start our most awaited speak up event let's have a look at its history speak up event is an invention by hussein sir who is a director sir and the name husseini speak up event is in the memory of a president sayyid nurullah hussein sir's father It was started in the year 2019, and can you believe it was a big hit? It included the pre-primary students till high classes. Through this speak-up event, our students learn various skills: presentation skills, communication skills, critical thinking skill, and leadership 360 skills. The way you overcome shyness is to become so wrapped up in something that you forget to be to be afraid. The first thing you say it's heard. The first thing you say it's heard. The second time it's recognized. The second time it's recognized, and the third time it's learned. Likewise, we have our brilliant finalists who have won in the first and second round and are now going to participate in the third round speak up event that is impromptu topic. Na sangharsh se, na taklifon se, na sangharsh se, na taklifon se. क्या है मजा फिर जीने में तूफान भी थम जाएगा जब लक्ष्य रहेगा सीने में पैनल ऑफ जजेस फॉर टूडेज कॉम्पिटिशन
جس کے ذریعے سے ہم دنیا میں کسی کو بھی کوئی چیز سمجھا سکیں اور بتا سکیں اور ہم ایک ایسے ریلیجن سے آتے ہیں کہ جو اسلام کہلاتا ہے اور اسلام اور قرآن اور اللہ اور اللہ کے رسول مسلمانوں کو ہر وقت ہر لمحے میں ہماری رہنمائی فرمائی ہے آج میں اس ایونٹ کے تعلق سے قرآن جو ہمارے رہنمائی کر رہے ہیں اسی کے بارے میں چند باتیں بتانے کے لیے آیا ہوں ابھی ابو بکر سر آپ لوگوں کے سامنے جو تلاوت فرمائی تھی جو آیتیں پڑھی ہے اس کے اندر اللہ تبارک و تعالی ایک خاص پیغمبر کے ذریعے سے اس جلیل القدر پیغمبر کے ذریعے سے ہمیں یہ میسیج دینا چاہ رہے کہ ہمیں جب ایسا وقت آئے جب ایسے پروگرام ہم کرنے جائے جب ہم کسی کے سامنے کچھ بولنا چاہے تو ہمیں سب سے پہلے کیا کرنا چاہیے آپ لوگ اچھی طرح سے جانتے ہیں کہ موسیٰ علیہ السلام اللہ کے بہت بڑے نبی گزرے ہیں موسیٰ علیہ السلام کو جب اللہ نے نبی بنایا اور اس کے سامنے اللہ نے کہا کہ اب آپ کو دعوت دینے کے لئے ایک بہت بڑے حاکم ایک بہت بڑے بادشاہ جو جابر اور ظالم بھی تھا ان کے سامنے جانا ہے جو اس وقت کے سپر پاور مانا جاتا تھا جو کہتا تھا انا ربکم العلا جس کو لوگ فرعون کے نام سے جانتے ہیں اس فرعون کو دعوت دینے کے لئے موسیٰ علیہ السلام کو جب حکم ہوا تو موسیٰ علیہ السلام کو اللہ نے پوری تیاری دی اور وہ معجزات دیئے جس کے ذریعے سے فرعون کو کچھ سمجھا سکے لیکن اللہ نے موسیٰ علیہ السلام کو معجزات دینے کے بعد بھی ایک معجزہ آپ جانتے ہیں اچھی طرح سے یہ واقعہ مشہور ہے کہ آپ کے ہاتھ کا عصہ زمین پر رکھتے ہی صاحب اور عصدے کے شکل میں آ جاتا تھا اور دوسرا معجزہ اللہ نے جو آپ کو دیا تھا کہ آپ کے ہاتھ کے ہتھیلے کی روشنی سورج کے طرح چمکنے لگتا تھا اس کے علاوہ بھی جب موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے کہا یا اللہ میں فیرون کے سامنے جا رہا ہوں فیرون کو دعوت دینا ہے یا اللہ بہت بڑا ظالم اور جابر ہے یا اللہ ہو سکتا ہے وہ مرے ساتھ کچھ غلط کر جائے تو اللہ نے کہا تھا اے موسیٰ گھب رہا مت میں تمہارے ساتھ ہوں ان تمام چیزوں کے ہونے کے باوجود بھی موسیٰ علیہ السلام اس وقت چاہتے تو فل کونفیڈنس میں آ جاتے تھے لیکن موسیٰ علیہ السلام جانتے تھے کہ کام بڑا ہے اور کتنا بھی ہم سپر پاور بن کے جائیں پھر بھی اگر اللہ کی مدد نہ ہو اللہ کی توجہ میرے ساتھ نہ ہو اللہ کے سامنے ہم نہ جھکیں اللہ سے اگر مدد نہ مانگے تو ہو سکتا ہے کہ ہمارا مشن پھیل ہو جائے اسی لئے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے فوراں تمام تر معجزات کے باوجود اللہ کے سامنے اپنے ہاتھ کو اٹھا لے اور کہا رب شرح لے صدری اے میرے خدا پہلی دعا نے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے جی کی اے میرے رب میں جب فیرون کے سامنے جاؤ تو اس وقت میں بے بس نہ ہو جاؤ میں جو بھی بولنا چاہو وہ بھول نہ جاؤ اس لئے میرے سینے کو کھول دیجئے یا اللہ میرے سینے کے اندر جو اس کے سے ہے اس کو نکال دیجئے میں تاکہ فیرون سے صحیح بات کر سکو نہ گھبراؤں یہ موسیٰ علیہ السلام کی پہلی دعا تھی رب شرح لے صدری اب جب دعا کر کے موسیٰ علیہ السلام پہلی دعا خود کو مطمئن کیے تو دوسرا کام تھا موسیٰ علیہ السلام کے سامنے وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِ کہ جو کام ہے یہ نبوت والا کام اور ایک جانگر اور ظالم بادشاہ کو سمجھانے والا کام یہ بہت اہم کام تھا اسی لئے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے اللہ کے سامنے ہار اٹھائی اور کہا اے اللہ یہ کام بہت ہی بڑا ہے اسی لئے وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِ میرے کام کو آب آسان کر دیجئے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے یہ دو دعا کی اللہ کے سامنے جب یہ دو دعا ہو گئے تو موسیٰ علیہ السلام فوراً تیسری دعا کے طرف آدھ اٹھائے رب شرح لے صدری ویسر لی امری واحل لقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی موسیٰ علیہ السلام بچپن میں آپ کے زبان جل جانے کے وجہ سے تھوڑی سی لکنت آگئی تھی تو موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے کہا اے میرے خدا میرے زبان میں ایسی صفائی دے دیجئے یفقہ قولی تاکہ میں جو بھی بات کر سکو فیرون کے سمجھ میں آ جائے سامنے والے کو یہ بات میرے میسیج میرے دعوت میرا یہ دعوت دینا ان کے سمجھ میں آئے تو موسیٰ علیہ السلام یہ تین دعائیں کی رب شرح لی میرے سینے کو کھول دیجئے ویسر لی امری اور میرے کام کو آسان کر دیجئے وحل لقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی میرے زبان کی لکنت میرے زبان کی گروہ کو میرے زبان میں اگر کوئی ہچکشاہت ہے تو اس کو دور کر دیجئے اور تاکہ میں فیرون کو صحیح جو بھی کہوں وہ صحیح سمجھ سکے یہی بھی موسیٰ علیہ السلام رکے نہیں 
کہ یہ دنیا دار الاسباب ہے اس لئے سبب کو اختیار کرنا ضروری ہوتا ہے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے یہ بھی میسیج دیا کہ اگلے اگر آپ دنیا سے لڑنے جائیں اگلے آپ کوئی کام کرنے جائیں تو پھر وہ مشکل ہو جائے گا آپ کے لئے اس لئے فوراں موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے اللہ سے ریکویس کیا اور دعا کی وَجْعَلْ لِي وَزِيرًا مِّنْ اَحْلِ اے میرا خدا فیرون بہت بڑا ہے بہت بڑا بادشاہ ظالم بادشاہ ہے میں اکیلے اس کے پاس جاؤں ہو سکتا ہے کہ وہ مجھے نکار دے اور میں اسے بات نہ کر سکوں اور وہ مجھے بات کرنے کا موقع نہ دے اسی لئے وزیر امین اہلی میرے ساتھ میرا نائی میرے ساتھ میرا اسسسٹن میرے ساتھ میرا اور ایک کسی بھی انسان کو آپ کیا کیجئے نبی بنا دیجئے میرا وزیر بنا دیجئے تو فوراں آگے بھی دیکھیں آپ یہاں پہ ایک میسیج ہے موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے کیا وزیر امین اہلی اور وہ وزیر وہ نائب میرا کیا ہو اپنے خاندان میں سے ہو اپنے لوگوں میں سے ہو تاکہ میں اس پہ پورا کا پورا بھروسہ کر سکوں ایک تو پہلے اپنا بتایا اس کے بعد موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے فوراں اگلا جملہ کہا وزیر امین اہلی اخشتت بھی ازری کہ وہ میرا بھائی حارون اخشتت بھی ازری تو میرا بھائی حارون علیہ السلام کو آپ نبی بنا دیجئے جس سے مجھے فل کانفیڈنس سے ہے جس سے میں بھروسہ کر سکتا ہوں اگر وہ میرے ساتھ جائے تو میری طاقت میری قوت زیادہ بڑھ جائے موسیٰ علیہ السلام یہ چار دعائیں کر کے ہمیں یہ بتانا چاہتا ہے خاص طور سے ان لوگوں کو کہ جب بھی آپ کوئی بات کہنے جائیں جب بھی آپ کسی کے سامنے بولنے کے لئے جائیں جب بھی آپ سپیک دینے کے لئے جائیں تو آپ کو کرنا کیا ہے اس سے پہلے اس دعا کو پڑھ لینا ہے اس دعا کو پڑھنے کے فضلت یہ بتایا ہے کتابوں میں کہ اللہ کے طرف سے آپ کے ساتھ ایک خاص مدد اترنے لگتی ہے اور آپ ایک صحیح بات کر کے وہاں سے بغیر تکلیف کے بغیر پریشانی کے نکل جاتے ہیں تو خاص طور سے میرا آج یہ میسیج ان بچوں کے لیے ہے جو آج اس پروگرام کا حصہ ہے جو یہاں پہ ڈھیر کر کے اسپیچ دینے والے ہیں ان بچوں کے لئے خاص ہے کہ جب آپ کا نام بوکار آ جائے تو آپ بھی اس دعا کو پڑھ لیا کریں رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل الوقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی تاکہ اللہ تبارک و تعالی ہم کو بات کرنے میں آسانی پیدا کر دے اور علماء نے لکھا ہے کہ یہ دعا اتنا زیادہ اتنا زیادہ پورفل ہے کہ صرف اسپیچ دینے کے لئے ہی کام نہیں آتے بلکہ علماء نے لکھا ہے جب آدمی ان کے سامنے دو کام آ جائے اور دونوں میں وہ پریشان ہو جائے تو اس وقت بھی اگر یہ دعا کو پڑھ لے اور پیش رہ لے کہ میرے سینوں کو کھول دے تو انسان کو وہ دو میں سے کسی ایک کام پہ اللہ تعالیٰ اس کے دل کو مطمئن کر دیتا ہے اسی لئے ہم مسلمانوں کو چاہیے جب بھی ہم کوئی ایسا کام کریں جب بھی ہم کوئی ایسا پروگرام کریں یا ہم کو کسی میں ہم میں سے کسی کو بھی اگر ایسا وقت ملے کہ ہم کسی کے سامنے بات کرنے کے لئے آئے تو سب سے پہلے ہم اس دعا کو پڑھ لیا کریں دعا چلے ہم آہستہ سے اپنے دل میں پڑھ لیں یا آنے کے بعد سٹیج بھی پڑھ کر کے سٹارٹ کریں کسی طرح سے بھی پڑھیں لیکن اس دعا کے ذریعے سے اپنے سپیچ کو شروع کریں گے تو اللہ تبارک و تعالی ہمارے لئے خاص مدد تاثل کرے گا اسی بات میں اپنی تقریب کو ختم کرتا ہوں وآخر دعوانا اور الحمدللہ شہر بلانا Let's have an overview of today's event There will be two rounds The first round is self-topic that the students will prepare will speak on the prepared topic and the second is impromptu topic That participant will get 15 seconds to think and speak The winners will be honored with cash prizes, certificates and trophies Level 1, the students will get 30 seconds to speak. Level 2, the students will get 45 seconds to speak. And level 3, students will get 60 seconds to speak. Now I would like to call level 1 speaker and our first speaker, Amin Sabdar Hussain from grade 3. I am Amin Sabdan Hussain of class 3rd. Today I am going to tell about my hobby. I love reading books of Tintin Adventure. Tintin is the main character of the story. Tintin has a dog named Snowy. He, he has a friend who is a sailor. His name is Haddock. Whenever he gets angry with someone, he started shouting billions of blue blistering barnacles or thundering typhoons. Tintin has a friend named Calculus. He, who, he is deaf. He cannot hear that much voices. 
One day, Herod called him Jack in a box, but he heard chicken box and got worried about him. One day, Herod called him a fool, but he heard fool, so he feel very happy that Herod called him fool. And Tintin said that we are going to land, but he heard we are going to land in Thailand. Tintin has two friends. They are detectives. Their names are Thompson and Thompson. They both are twins. They are always bungling things. I love reading Tintin adventure books. Thank you. Next, I would call Alia Mukhadam from Red 3. My name is Alia Mukhadam. I am from Third Stand and I am going to speak about my own topic. My own topic is What is Time? Time is very important in our life. No one can skip the passage of time if time is, if time is managed properly, it would lead to the development of a good habit. Uh, of, of a good habit of organizing daily activities. Students should understand the importance of time. If, it will help them to manage the time properly. Thank you everyone. Thank you Alia for giving us valuable, wo valuable words on time. Next I would call Abdullah Salim from class 2. My name is Sayyid Abdullah Salim. I am studying in second class section A. Today I am to say about my own topic. My own topic is about our earth. Uh, earth is a, uh, earth has a water and a human being that live in earth. Earth is very, earth has a, and oxygen and all this as well many things. Thank you. Next I will call Fazim Hussain of Break 2. Judges, sirs and my dear teachers, I am Sayyid Fazim Hussain of class 2 from session B. Today topic the topic I have that selective I the importance of time. Time is very important. Allah has created time. We use the time carefully. When we waste the time, the time will never come back. So we have to use the time very carefully and wisely. Thank you. Thank you, Prasleen, for sharing valuable thoughts on time. Next, I will call Afia Zainab from grade 3. My name is Afia Zainab. I am from, from third standard. Today, I am going to tell you about virtues of Ramadan. Ramadan is venerated in Islam and it is different from other months by the number of virtues. They are number one. Allah has made fasting this month by the Allah has made fasting this month the fourth pillar of Islam. Number two, Allah revealed the Quran in this month. Number three, Allah has made Laylatul Qadr in this month, which is better than thousand months. In this month, Allah opens the gates of paradise and closes the gates of hell and chains up the devils. Umrah in Ramadan is equal to Hajj. It is Sunnah to observe Itikaf. Whoever gives one who is fasting will be having reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you. Thank you, Afia, for your informative words. Uh, speakers, we have Sayyid Fudai Hussain from grade 4. Respected judges, teachers, and sirs, I am Sir Fudal Hussain from 4th Standard. My topic for today is the pet I would like to get at home. Dogs 
are known to be faithful animals. Yesterday, when I saw a video on how dogs obey and play with their masters, I got a feeling of love towards raising them as pets. I, so I requested my mother to get a pet at home. My, my mother and myself are going to a pet shop after my final exam. My siblings and I will play with it in coming summer holidays. Thank you. This is Nafshin from grade 5. And I'm studying in grade 5. Today, I'm here to speak about hard work is the key to success. This statement has been used to us over and over again. It is commonly used in schools and workplaces. Our teachers, coaches, leaders and parents use this statement mostly. Success is not something that happens by accident or overnight. It requires continuous effort and focus in the right direction. Hard work is the most important key to the success. With the achievement without hard work is impossible. An idle person can never achieve anything if they sit and wait for a better opportunity to come. The person who is working hard is able to gain success and happiness in life. Failures are sometimes a part of the journey to success. But at the end of the day, it is all about how hard you have worked. Just by working hard on what you believe, you can understand its true value. I conclude my topic here with the quote, keep your eyes on the goal, work hard, dream big. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. From grade 6. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Fawaz Muhammad. I am from class 6. Today I am going to be telling about the education. So nowadays education is necessary for everyone. With the help of education we can fulfill our dreams and help it and it lead us to whatever we want to become in our future. Education is like a Google Maps that helps us to reach our goals. An educated person knows the value of the education. It is a weapon against a difficult situation and it is a medicine to cure our problems. In India we have the in India, we have the right to get the education and become an educated person. In a state, Telangana, government is building free schools and colleges for those who can't afford. Thank you. Our next speaker is Baba Dayanuddin from grade 5. Thank you, Mr. I am here to say about pollution. Pollution, what pollution are measured by three types. There are water pollution, air pollution and Noise pollution, water pollution, water water pollution when occurs microorganism in water, in rivers, lake or ocean body, oceans, river bodies. It is harmful to humans and in environment. Thank you. Thank you, from grade four. Assalamualaikum everyone. To the all respective teachers, sir and judges, today I am speaking about a topic, my favorite sport. Sports, sports. My favorite sport is football. Football has level number one goalkeeper and one goalkeeper and ten members play football. The goalkeeper has to defend the goal and, and the members have to kick the ball in the other team's goal. If the member cannot kick the ball in the team's goal, and if, but if the second team kicks the ball in the first goal, they will get the goal. Thank you. From level 2 is Sarita Faiza Hussain from grade 6. Uh, respective judges, sir and my dear teachers, my name is Sarita Faiza Hussain from 6, uh, from 6 standard. Today my topic is the importance of physical health. A healthy body is the place of healthy mind. What do we refer when we say a healthy body? A healthy body means a disease-free body. Allah has created human being in 
uh, Allah has created human being in the best form. Physical mobility and physical activities are must to stay healthy. We, we have to be particular about our physical fitness and we should do any physical exercise for at least 45 minutes to stay fit. There are various types of exercises which leads to the proper flow of blood in our organ, in our body. Laziness and obesity are a result, result to avoid, avoid the physical, physical exercise. Walking is the best exercise suggested by the doctors. So let us start walking as much as possible to, to live a long life. Thank you. Level 3 speakers. Our first speaker is Sadaf Banu of grade 7. My name is Sadaf Banu. I am from class 7. Today I am here to speak about Allah's laurels on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah has bestowed a lot of favors on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has given him what wasn't given to anyone else. Therefore, I would like to present just one in front of you. Anas Ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, says that at one occasion while they were all sitting with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was a moment of inadvertence with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he raised his head smilingly and we asked, what makes you smile, O Apostle of Allah? He said, a surah has been revealed unto me just now. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started to recite Entire Surah Al Kausar saying, In Aqwaina Kal Kausar, Pasalli Lirob Bikawan Hab, In Nashani Aka Huwal Abta. Then he asked, Do you know what is Kausar? We said, Allah and His Messenger knows the best. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kausar is a stream of which Allah has promised me. It has many qualities. On the day of judgment, my Ummah will come over to drink the water from this pot. It has as many glasses of stars, it has as many glasses of water as there are stars in the sky. This is a very big blessing given only to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similarly, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, has been granted with Maqam Mahmud, a place in paradise called Wasila, and also the grand intercession of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the end, we pray to Allah that He has given as the water from Qasr and also the grand intercession of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you. Have a nice day. Now I would like to call Sumaya Khatun of grade 7. I am Sumaya Khatun of 7 standard. The topic of my talk is benefits of yoga. Doing regular yoga practice may, may reduce from many diseases. According to the National Institutes of Scientific or scientific evidence shows that yoga supports yoga supports uh, yoga supports stress management, mindfulness, uh, weight loss, weight loss, healthy eating, and many more. We should do yoga regularly to be fit and fine. Yoga is a good thing and it protects us from many diseases like heart, heart diseases, cancer, etc. Yoga is not, no, yoga, we, uh, we can do yoga for not only for hours, it can be done by, for only 20 minutes. Doing yoga for only 20 minutes can make us fit. I would like to say that yoga is a light which once we lit will never dim. The better you practice, the brighter your flame. Thank you. Next I will call Sayyid Asad Ahmed of grade 7. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sheikh Abdul I am studying in 7th class. Today my topic is about water. Water is the compound with the chemical name H2O. It is transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly colorless. Chemical substance, it is the main subconscious and produce of all known living organisms. 
Some advantages of water are it keeps our body temperature normal and also protects our spinal parts and uh, our sensitive organisms. We should not waste water as it is a precious thing for us. In the world, we have 70% of water, but in the but 3% of water is fresh water. In the 3% also, we have 2% icebergs. Now we are left with 1% fresh water and drinking or domestic uses. Without water, a life is like a fish without water. Water is a niyamat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some various types of activities done by using by water, such as uh, construction in buildings, washing clothes, washing utensils, and cooking. We are thankful to Allah that He has granted us with water. Thank you very much. Next we will call Nabila Nisa of Grade 7. Good morning, Abarakatu. Good morning everyone. My name is Nabila Nisa. I am from class 7. Today I am going to speak about attitude is everything. In our day-to-day -day life, we try to do, we try to get success, but we fail because we don't choose the right path and way. We don't get we don't get right strategies to get success. One of the main principles to get success is attitude. Attitude is the way we behave and the way we react to the daily activities. As a result, positive attitude may influence our life in a deep way, such as how we think, socialize, and even how our health is. Successful people face their problem as a challenge to beat and not like a punishment to suffer. Therefore, these people will be more likely to have success in their life rather than the one who sees their life as a punishment. Positive attitude might be the key to all the people who want to fulfill their dreams. If everyone would apply this concept in their life, they would be happier as they will see that everything including their life situations and problems are under their own control. After all, attitude is all. Thank you. Now let's welcome our next speaker, Aliza Zameer of Class 7. My name is Aliza Zameer. I am from Class 7. Today I am going to say about teachers. Teachers are the great gift from Allah to educate us. They are the great source of knowledge and wisdom. They are the path of light. We should always respect our teachers as well as elders. And thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has given such a wonderful teachers. Thank you. I would like to call Khairullah Husseini of class of great age. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sayyid Khalilullah Husseini. I am studying in grade 8. Today I am going to tell you about why most of the women end up in hell. There are, there are very much answers to it, but it they doesn't make any sense. Backbiting, shamelessness, my, uh, men, men puberty, and many other crimes, and many other crimes are performed by both the genders. Then why women will go in hell? Salah, fast, salah, fasting, charity, and many other good deeds are also performed by the both genders. Then why only women will go in hell? Only women will go more in number in hell. As as women are very uh, debates like they will do debates. Ke, why men, why, why we should do parda and men's not? They will, they will not see the, from where the command is coming. Command is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will not see that. And they will just say, uh, boys are not, they will compare their lives with uh, boys. And there is a hadith, uh, there is a hadith that our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we feel the upon him told, the woman who is comparing his life, her life with men will be thrown in hellfire. Thank you very much. Now I will call Adiba Fatima on grade 9. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Adiba Fatima and I am a student of class 9. Today I am here to tell you about fasting. Allah has decreed fasting on every Muslim in the month of Ramadan. Allah says, فما شهد ميون شهر فليصمه. Whoever witnesses the month of Ramadan should fast. The Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has categorized the fasting of Ramadan as an integral pillar of Islam. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Buniya al-Islam ala khamsi shahadati Allah ilaha illa Allah wa anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah wa iqam al-salati wa ita al-zakat wa lahaji wa sawmi Ramadan. The foundation of Islam is based on five things. First, many witness that there is no one worthy of worship other than Allah and that Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. Second, establishing salah. Third, giving zakat, that is the obligatory charity. Fourth, the pilgrimage of Hajj. And fifth, the fasting in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has outlined a lot of virtues of fasting, he is telling one of his virtues that the previous sins of whoever fast the month of Ramadan with Iman and with the intention of obtaining reward from Allah will be forgiven. Therefore, we should fast in the month of Ramadan. Thank you. Our next speaker is Sayyid Ahmadullah Husseini of grade 9. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sayyid Ahmadullah Husseini. I am from 9th standard. Today, I am going to tell you about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful to us. In today's generation, people are doing more sins and shaitan is whispering in their ears that these many sins are, are not going to be forgiven by, forgive by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today, I am going to uh, tell you an incident that that proved the proved Shaitan's uh, statement wrong. So once a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, and told Prophet, my sins are enormous. So our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told that, do your sins are more than the leaves of the trees present on the earth? Then he replied, yes. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, again asked him that your sins can fill the entire ocean's present on the earth. Then he again answered yes. Then our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told that do your sins are more than the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The man remained silent. Then our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told just recite the first kalima that is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. After reciting this, your all sins will be forgiven by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's mercy. So my friends, my, my, my brothers and sisters, Ramadan is coming. Ask for your forgiveness. Thank you. It was awesome, Ahmed. It was fabulous performance by all the speakers. You now we are finding ways to speak up that honor your reality, the reality of others, and your willingness to meet in the center of that large field. I repeat the instructions for this round. The level 1 speakers will get 30 seconds, the level 2 speakers will get 45 seconds, and level 3 will get 60 seconds. I would like to call Amin Sabdar from grade 3 for the final round. Respect. I repeat, respect. I repeat, respect. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I am going to tell about respect. We should give respect to elders for showing good manners. Respect shows good manners and shows how we are good or bad. Respect shows how we are We should give respect to elders and others 
other people. Thank you. Now we have a second speaker, Alia Bukhadam from Grade 3.
Discipline is something that we have to follow. Discipline is also known as key to success. We should be disciplined in various places like school, office and etc. Discipline is very important part of our life. If we will not discipline, we will not get we will not gain success. I request everybody to be disciplined in this school. Thank you. Speaker is Husna Afshin of Grade 5. Ocean pollution that 
animals die because they cannot breed in if they do not get fresh air. They are some types of pollution like air pollution, land pollution, soil pollution, water pollution, and sound pollution, and, and air pollution. Air pollution is caused by when in a car smoke is out by it. Thank you. Our next speaker is Sayyid Abdelkar Hussain of grade 6. Your topic is time. I repeat, time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sayyid Abdelkar Hussain. I am studying in this planet. My topic is time. Time is very important because time will never wait for us. We should utilize the time by doing good things such as reading books, studying for our exams and we should never waste time because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask on the day of judgment every, every second of time if we waste it. We should use the time, we should use the time wisely and safely. We should not, we should not waste the time in, in any bad things such as Playing for five to six hours, not studying, and sleeping for for many hours is not good for us. We should utilize the time. Thank you. In the stand, the level three speakers. I would like to call upon Sada Banu from class seven. and 
technologies are also harmful to us. Like for example, many gadgets are invented in the world. Like for back, our back pain, some machines are invented. Back pain, headache, and for our daily uses. Even the mobile phones are very harmful to us. There are some advantages and disadvantages of mobile phones. The advantages of mobile phones are we can use it, we can search, we can clear our thoughts, doubts with the help of mobile phones. We can also watch some bad and some good things on mobile phones. But we have to use the mobile phones for the right thing. As we are seeing, many diseases, diseases are coming into the world. Coming into the world. We are affected by the mobile phones. So we should use the mobile phones wisely and carefully. And I would like to say that use mobile phones wisely and carefully and for the right thing. Thank you. Your topic is why is fast food bad? I repeat, why is fast food bad? My name is Sheikh Azad Ahmad. I am studying in 7th class. Today my topic is about why fast food is bad. Nowadays we are eating very fast food. Fast, fast food foods are made by, made by people very badly. They use their dirty hands. They use their dirty hands. They do not wash their hands and they use very bad oils and some expired things also. It causes the health problems such as food poisoning. We should take care of our health. A fast food which is known as noodles, it is made up of maida. It is very, it is very harmful to our health. They use very very harmful sauces to our health. They, they make it by the by their dirty hands and dirty utensils. We should never eat fast food, but once in a month we can eat because if we eat daily fast food, it will cause the health problems. We should eat vegetables, fruits, and dry fruits. We should eat the homemade food only. Because the fast food causes many problems. Thank you. Our next speaker is Nabila Onisha from Grade 7. Should exams be bad? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Nabila Onisha. I am from class 7. Today, my topic is about should exams be bad? No, exams should not be bad. Because if we all the months and the days that we are studying hard, the, all the all the all the time we have spent on study that will be gone waste. If the exams got gone banned, we will be very angry that our that our time we have spent day and night will be gone wasted. For some people only exams should gone be mad, banned because they, some students will not study in schools and homes. For them exams should be banned. Thank you. Your topic is why books 
books are better than their movies. I repeat, five books are better than their movies. Matullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Anita Zambi. I am from class 7. Today, I am going to say about why books are important. Why books are important from movies. Because books give us more, more knowledge about world and technologies. And it helps us for developing our brain memory. Movies are the entertainment thing that we have seen. But books are the most important in our life. They give us success in our life. So we should read books and learn. Thank you. Our next speaker is Adima Fatima, Fatima from Grade 9. My name is Adiba Fatima and I am studying in class 9. Today my topic is if I had a superpower, what would it be? So if I would have a superpower, if I would have given an option to choose my superpower, it would be It would be being invisible. I would be I would be invisible and healthy people because people should not be aware that I have helped them and they should not be they should not they should not consider it as favor. I would be I would become invisible and and search for the needy people and I would help them by giving them their necessities by giving them what they want by helping the people because giving is better than taking anything so I would give them happiness and it would become my happiness too because I have helped people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the people who help people and we should not we should not help that in that way that they should consider it as a favor. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sayyid Khalilullah Husseini and I am studying in grade 8. Today I am going to tell you about how hard work is a key to success. Without hard work we can't do anything. Without hard work we can't learn uh, even two table. Hard work is very important to reach to reach success as a as a uh, hard work is a bridge to success and thank you. My name is Sayyid Ahmadullah Saini from grade 9. Today if, I, today, if I get a chance to build a school, it would be like it would be like new grade school 
it is very best school so and i am learning in this school and i will be passed from this school so this will be my future school if i would build the if i would be able to build a school thank you now i would request the judges to hand over the sheets to sadia now i would like ajaz ma'am to hand over the certificates to the judges Now, whoever knows the answer will raise the hand and let me know the answer. Billy's birthday. 
mother and her mass jupiter saturn but not in venus venus or neptune what is it just raise your hand the correct answer is letter r let's appreciate her
Fatima from grade 9. Fatima from grade 9. Nabila from grade 7. Fatima from grade 7. Sadam Bano from grade 7. Sophia Onisa, grade 7. Sophia Onisa, grade 7. Sophia Kadun, grade 7. Sophia Kadun, grade 7. Thank you. 